You ever try to line up a camera with the lines and then discover that that the lines on the bottom of your room are different from the lines on the top of your room? Hi, I'm Z Gala, Aunt Angel, here to do some stretches. Not talk about straight lines, I'm here to talk about wavy lines and curves and nuances and things like that. Actually, I'm gonna start also talk about straight lines because I might do some triangle poses, maybe, I don't know. You don't know either, do you? Let's find out. <laughs> uh, I do know that I had to set my mat pretty crooked in order to try to match the lines on my roof. That's what I was talking about earlier in case you're wondering, what is she talking about? That's all. Just me entertaining myself while I take a short break and do some stretching. Let's run through a quick full body routine and throw in some triangles with straight lines since I brought it up. Starting with a back bend and then coming into a forward bend, swan diving forward. I'm gonna pause here, take a deep breath in, and then ah, just relaxing into that forward fold, letting go of the belly, letting go of the back. You can just hang from your hips, you can jiggle your Bend your knees and jiggle your thighs a little bit if you want to. That sounded more fun than I meant for it to, but that's all right. And then push from the bottoms of your feet and tipping from the tailbone up, roll up the spine one vertebrae at a time. Just coming back to upright. Let's shake that out a little bit. And then bend your knees, swing your arms up and back into that back bend again, coming into a counter stretch, looking up at your fingertips. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe and smile. Swing those arms, continuing back, and bring them behind the back, clasping fingertips, pointing those fingertips down, and pulling again into that counter stretch, pulling down with those hands, pushing forward with the hips. Coming back to neutral, shaking that out a little bit. And let's bend from the hips, this time bringing those arms with. Pull your elbows toward one another, pushing your palms together, pointing those fingers and then arching those over the body, over the head if possible. And just let them relax a little bit there. A couple breaths. Ah. And turn to the left side, pulling your arms and elbows to the right for a little twist. You can bend that opposite knee, touch your right knee to right shoulder, same side to same side, and then coming back to center. Just let your arms stretch overhead a little bit more, and then, then leaning to the other side looking to the right, leaning the arms to the left, and bending that left knee. You can touch knee to shoulder on that side. And then straightening both legs again, stretching those hands. It's just keeping the hands clasped, but relaxing the pull toward elbow to elbow. Just let those arms passively stretch without forcing or trying to stretch anything. Just let them go, just hang on to each other to keep the stretch, but not pushing any stretch, letting gravity do the work. And then releasing those, I'm gonna bring those, let's do a check on the backs of the legs, down the backs of the legs, checking in with those ankles, coming around, checking in with the toes, bend your knees if you need to, check in with the toes and the ankles. Let's just do a body check all the way up, checking in with the knees. The thighs rolling up slowly, the hips just saying hello to everybody. We give a little tap. We haven't done much body drumming in a while. I'm gonna do a little tapping down the arms. Speaking of that, just knocking loose any stagnation, checking in with the energy, smoothing it out, giving myself a little pet and reminding my body that everything is okay. It's okay to let go of the stresses of yesterday 
Let's come. I'm going to step forward on the mat just so I can step back with the left foot first into a warrior pose. That's a nice, strong, stable pose with the feet relatively parallel. Front knee is bent. Pull your back hip forward, forward hip back, and tuck your tailbone under so that your pelvis is relatively square to your pal parallel feet, perpendicular pelvis. Bring those arms up, dropping the shoulders down. Just still checking in on that stability, nice and long and strong through the core. Again, working to square those hips and tucking the tailbone under, tilting the pelvis a little bit. That helps give that nice and long core. Let's push onto that diagonal line, looking for a nice long straight line, feeling energetic, feeling out that foot and through your spine and out your fingertips, pushing into a nice diagonal line. And then straightening that front leg, I'm going to tilt that back heel onto the perpendicular line, opening the hips. And from a wide stance, tilt from your hip and come into that triangle pose to wherever's comfortable. You don't want to be straining or unstable. If if just to here, if just to your knee is comfortable, that's fine. Try to see if you can get that straight line sensation, fingertip to fingertip. And if all the way down to the floor is comfortable, that's great too. But do try to make sure you're not collapsing into that. Maintain your body's integrity. I like to use my hand against my foot for support and torque, and then looking up. Look up at your left fingertips, if you can, maintaining your balance. And then bring those fingertips around the back side to reach for your opposite thigh. And I like to look out over that lifted shoulder for a nice stretch in triangle pose. Let's bring that down into a nice lunge, bending that front leg. Just maintaining that stretch and coming into a nice triangle pose and then unwinding that pushing up from that leg coming back up and let's move both feet facing forward now into a nice star pose you can bring those heels in a little bit just taking up a lot of space there in star pose for a breath or two and then i'm going to shift to the other side shifting that front heel onto what would be the parallel line except for coming at it in the other direction so my hips are perpendicular here perpendicular this foot is perpendicular to that foot is what i was trying to say the hips are opening to the side plane here and then bending that hip i'm going to come into a triangle pose on the other side again can start higher up different, actually a different set of muscles that works there as works a little bit lower down. And looking up at your right fingertips if you can, maintaining balance, using your left hand and foot against each other for support. And then bring your right hand around the backside to reach for your left thigh. And again, look out over that top shoulder, just enjoying a nice internal twist, a little hug for the organs, and then bending that front leg, coming into a nice side twisting lunge, still using my arm and leg against each other for torque and support a little bit. And unwinding that, I'm gonna push up with that bent leg and bringing both feet back into either parallel or a little bit at a 45 degree angle for ah, star pose. Let those arms swing. Let's walk those feet back in. My mat's not cooperating, so I'm just going to step back in. Hmm. I'm going to do just a little bit of Qigong-esque. Ah. 
shifting of energy. I wanted this to be just a nice, short, what I'm calling a fitness snack. It's a new term I'm trying on that I heard some version of and thought I like lately. And uh, it's a good thing to keep in mind that you don't have to set aside a big amount of time to work out. Two minutes is better than no minutes. Even 10 seconds can go a lot further than you think. 10 minutes is terrific. 20 minutes is great. If you, if you can fit in, you know, four or five minute snacks through the day, there you have you 20 minutes of fitness every day. And the more you do, the better you're gonna feel and the easier it's gonna be to do, the more you're gonna want to do. So start small and build on your skill level. Start where you are, do the best you can with what you got. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help support you. There's ways to connect with me in the description. And I thank you if you do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay curious, courageous, fit and free. Till next time, peace.